What's up ladies and gents, this is KC Kid coming at you with another Destiny video. Today we're at the Vault of Glass. More specifically, we are on the Templar because for the last several weeks we've been doing Oracles and Templar for the chances at a Praetorian Foil and the Fatebringer. But of course, those guns are extremely rare, probably some of the rarest in the game. And of course, JD and Scooter got their second Praetorian Foils this week. Yeah not bitter at all. So, after wiping and sniping to do the oracles, we're over on Templar and just staying up here. Bulldog's down below taking care of the shield, getting his super up, hitting any oracles that are hidden, and shooting down Templar's shields. Now make sure if you're gonna shoot off rockets at Templar that you shoot them instantly like whenever your teammates like, alright, uh, blast out. Shoot it then because if you wait till after Templar's shields get down and then you shoot a rocket instantly, you might shoot it into a detainment field, and that's bad news. What else is bad news is whenever you miss an oracle, and <laughs> this happens. This is no good. In fact, it takes instant reaction. You have to just book it right down to your teammate. Templar was way too low. There was no way I wanted to wipe it here. So I said, I'm coming down, Bulldog, and the rest of the team joined me, and here we are. We're at least cleansed. Everybody's sliding into home plate. Time to go ahead and take care of Templar from the ground. Now, many of you know that you can obviously kill the Templar from the ground just from the beginning, and we end up doing it over here from the right-hand side, around where the right complexes are. If you see oracles around this side, go ahead and shoot them. If not, you just stay around the relic holder, and he can go ahead and cleanse you afterwards. But we're here, Templar barely has any health as it is, you see. Oh, oh, oh almost tricked myself. Almost shot a rocket right into it. You don't want to do that. But Templar has no health. By the time I even get my rocket ready to go, he's going to be dead. So you see, it's really not that bad. If you end up getting into a situation where you're marked for an oracle, you can go ahead and book it down here. It's really not difficult to take care of the Templar, provided that your team can go ahead and run around and shoot supplicants and everything like that. As long as you don't have people that are significantly underleveled, and for that would be, you know what, Vault of Glass level 26, 27, stuff like that. If you're level 30 or above, you should have no problem at this time in the game of taking care of Templar from the ground. It's just quicker up from the top. It's easier. So that's why people do it, because they're already in position for that. But you definitely don't need to just abandon hope and cancel things all out if you happen to get marked for an Oracle. Run down, get your cleanse, get your Templar, get your Fatebringer. Unless you're me. You won't get any Fatebringers if you're me. So anyway, guys and gals, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, smack that like button. Subscribe to the channel to keep updated on daily Destiny content. Check out these awesome videos. Good luck with your raids, your drops, and I'll see you around in Destiny. Fatebringer.